Hi, my name's Rubia. And I'm Matthew. And this is Sounds Like on Anderton's TV. Who are we sounding like today? Today we are going to try to sound like the band The Strokes. Awesome. Should be good, should be good. This one's been requested quite heavily actually. It has. Um, more of the kind of indie sound, if you will. When that whole movement happened back in sort of mid-2000s, yeah. uh, they were one of the bands that I... Because I never really was a fan of indie because I was into heavier, more guitar stuff. But that band I always quite liked. So yeah, two guitarists. We have Nick Valenti, who's kind of more the lead guy, mm -hmm. um, who is going to be you, I'll I be think. Nick. And then Albert Hammond Jr., who is more of the rhythm guy. Um, and I'll be trying to sound like him. So essentially, we're getting jewel rigs, £1,500 budget each. And we've got to get amps, pedals, guitars. It's got to be gigable. And we've got to make sure that it sounds like the artist. So essentially, Let's go. Let's go. So, let's, should we go guitars first? Let's do guitars. Logical guitars. choice. You go first. Well, Nick Valenci uses sort of semi-hollow bodies and a range of different ones. Yeah. Um, but I think because we've got a 1500 pound budget to stick to, we're going to go probably Epiphone and yep. see what they've got in stock. So let's go have a look. Now, he actually has a signature Epiphone, um, but Anderton's do not have it. So... And he uses P94s, doesn't he? Yeah, quite a lot. So, we'll find something similar. They're all Alnico humbuckers. What's this? That's a casino, but it's a 339 shape, so it's small. And that's got... These are Alnico wound... I'm not quite sure what kind of pickups they are. They're like P90s. Mm. This could be good. Or this one. Maybe something a bit bigger. This is a casino as well. Yeah, I'd But say this is the 335. I go big. You go big. I, it's, it's up to you. You're, you've got to play go it. Go big or go home, man. Go big or go home. Go big or go home. Vintage Sunburst. Um, looks lovely, actually. And uh, 427, so it's kind of a third, roughly a third of our of my budget anyway, so I've got to get an amp and the relevant pedals to do the job. Albert Hammond Jr. We're looking for a white strat, essentially. He, that's what he's most famous for using, um, generally with a rosewood board. Um, he's had the same guitar for like a million years, so we're going to try and find something similar. Uh, B is making some gestures towards some white strats. Maybe that's an indication of where we should go. So there's a white strat here for 460 in Alex White. However, it's a maple board. Um, whether we can find something with a rosewood board, I am nay sure. I think, to be honest, your best option is probably this one. Well, I think so. We might just have to compromise that rosewood board. Because it's 460 pounds, which is roughly what mine's going to cost, which is roughly a third of your budget, so. However, there's the argument to say, surely a rosewood board would sound closer, however, the white paint would look closer. Oh, that is an argument. Yeah, that is an argument. And I might, maybe I'm making the argument. I don't know. I'll see if they Well, wood doesn't thing. affect the tone of the guitar, does it? That's very true. That's very true. Paint does, though. So, this is the Fender Mexican Strat in Arctic White. But this has a maple board. I've just been told that there's one in the back with a rosewood board. So, for £460, I think this is going to do the trick. So, amp wise. Yeah, strokes. They were using Fender DeVille, right? Yeah, they used a lot of Fender, different Fender amps between yeah. them. Um, so we're thinking <laughs> maybe a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe, maybe one each might just do the trick. Probably easier that way because, I mean, if that's the gear that they use, then it's going to get us close, isn't it? Well, yeah, and the Hot Rod's a, a great sounding kind of right, about the right kind of budget for us. So. I think the trick with this one is going to be pedals and that's really just going to be a stroke of look. This is the amp we're going to use. This is the Hot Rod Deluxe 3, 671. So we're already just over a grand now each. Yeah, about 1,100 each, so. That gives us 400 pounds for pedals, which yeah. sounds like a lot, probably not. Sounds like a lot, that's a new idea. Okay, so both the guys from the Strokes are quite well known for using the visual sound, Jekyll and Hyde. In fact, I think Albert Hammond at least has two, so. Anderson's don't stock Anderson's them. Anderson's don't stock them, so we're gonna have to try and find something 
similar. Yes, yeah, it's similar. It's like a dual, a dual yeah, is a distortion overdrive, isn't it? Yeah. Because the stroke's tone is, it's not, it's not present gain. It's not present overdrive or present distortion. It's like quite soft and warm. Yeah. So. I've got, basically, I've got a feeling the uh, way huge uh, Green Rhino S, the new one, the small one, because it's got a boost at 100 hertz you can control and at 500. I think I'm going to go for the T-Rex Mud Honey, which is a dual overdrive pedal, um, perhaps with a micro amp as well, just to try and get, basically those nice warm... You're going to try and emulate the Jacqueline and Hyde, aren't you? Yeah, basically, yeah, because he uses two Jekyll and Hydes, which we don't have. Just yeah. found this bad boy. We're going to try and use this. Uh, and hope that it works. Hope that it gives us the set, that synthy sound. And I believe it's in the song, is it 1251? Yeah. It's the one that goes. Da, 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 da. Should we try and sound like the strokes? Let's do it. in the video room. We are back and we've been trying to sound like the Strokes. We have been know. trying and it's been, to be honest, quite difficult. It has, they are kind of, they have very specific sounds. It's always the think... simpler sounding ones that you think are yes. going to be easy and they're not, they're never, yes. they're never easy. Yes. In essence, what we've been trying to do is pinpoint a few tones from different songs and there was one in particular which is from the song, is it 1251? 1251. Yeah, and there's like a synthy lead line in the verse and there's nowhere we could find that said what exact sound and how the how he got that sound. So we were kind of like, kind of shooting in the dark really. So there's a couple of pedals and it was a battle to find the right setting to, to get it even close to that sort of synthy sound. Totally, and also um, the kind of our uh, rhythm gainy sounds. Mm -hmm. They were, both of them used the visual sound Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. Which Andersons don't stock. So we kind of took, I guess a little bit of a shot in the dark it was Both a stroke ways. of luck. The same joke is best twice. <laughs> so Matt, let's okay. check out your rig, dude. So for Albert Hammond Jr., mm -hmm. um, our attempt to sound like him, we are using this Mexican Strat by Fender. Um, really nice, actually, in Arctic White. It's, that's what this color's called. Um, it has a rosewood fingerboard, which is the same as Albert would use himself. Um, 460 pounds, so it's a... It's a classic looking guitar as well, I guess. It is, it is, really nice. And, and um, it fits the bill, especially for, you know, the sort of thing you're need. going for, yeah. <laughs> I have the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. Um, we got it in a special Paisley finish. We have a Paisley finish, but... Because um, I took the last normal one. Yep. Yeah, we're running it on clean mm -hmm. um, with the T-Rex Mud Honey. Which, um, by the way, is very impressive. I'm impressed with that. It's pedal. really, really good. It's uh, the Mud Honey 2. It's essentially, a, well, it's, as it says here, it's a dual distortion pedal with kind of two distortion channels. Exactly the same. Um, so you can kind of have one as a lower gain, one as a high yeah. gain, and, um, and switch between as you need. Um, sounds great though. And it does sound really good, it sounds like this. Oh yeah, so that's it sounds great. lovely. Play and, um, some, strum some chords and I'll bring in the gain and back out again. That's a great sounding pedal. 
Yeah. And that's on the neck pickup too, it's still got a nice bit of clarity to it. So Exactly, yeah, and I've, to be honest, it's all been mostly neck pickup except for the, a little bit of leady bit, mm -hmm. which was on the bridge. The three combined are just a bit of a winner. Yeah, and I think you must have come in somewhere quite reasonably under budget as well with this. I totally did. The guitar, about 460, these are 649, which takes us to 1100. These are about 130, 120, 130. So, yeah, all in all, under 1250. <laughs> It does the job, it's yeah. effective. Sounds really good. Anyway, how about... How my about rig, my riggeth. Okay, so I'm using, and this is the Epiphone Casino, and it's a 335 model. Uh, and it's got, I think it's got covered P90s in it. These are Alnico pickups. Uh, and it's just a lovely honey burst. And generally speaking, it's, it's, a, it's a nice guitar. Yeah, and it's, it's exactly in the vein that you'd expect Nick Valenzi of the Strokes to use. Yeah, so. and I'm using, a, we're both using the same amplifier. This is the Hot Rod Deluxe 3. And then my um, sort of distortion tone, I've been using the Way Huge Green Rhino, and this is the new one, and this is the Overdrive Mark IV. And it's wicked, it's new, it's smaller than the old one. Yeah, we use the old one in a, a Josh Homme Josh Homme one, yeah. Depending on the song we've been doing, I've been messing with the drive, where it goes, and the tone. <laughs> And also for the kind of... Uh... And I used it, I think it was a roughly about halfway with the tone at about 10 o'clock to get the... Uh... And it just, against your guitar, it's actually a really, really nice sound. So I may as well give it a go yeah, and I think a bit, well. bit less gain on there. Yeah. One, two, three, four. <laughs> So that's my overdrive tone, or sort of gainy tone. I think I had the volume a little bit too high there, but either way, now I need to try and demonstrate how I got the synth sound. But the thing yeah. is, because of the way all the pedals have to work together to achieve it, it gets a lot of feedback if I'm not playing. And right, so you have to be straight in. It's a compromise, and the, mm. and the reason that it's a compromise is because it's impossible to find out. I've, I've, we've looked to find out what that synth sound is. If any of you guys have found it, please comment below because I'd be really interested to know what it is. So to get those tones, we originally tried a synth machine by Electro Harmonics, but it was completely the wrong pedal. It was way out, yeah. So, so we, we had to completely rethink what we did, and then I ran around, grabs what I figured would work, and then we've tried it out here. Mm. So that's probably why you didn't see us in the store picking out these pedals. Yeah, it's actually been quite a challenge to get this sound specifically, <laughs> and... Um, really hard. Yeah. Um, but this pedal does more than just the sound, just so you know. But the Cockfight by EHX, essentially it's a wah pedal that, rather than it being a wah wah that you do this way, you can dial in exactly where on that scale you want. So you've got frequency, volume, tone, drive, but it also has a built-in fuzz. Does it just sit on that setting on the wah then? Or yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Is it like, undulate? No, 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 it just sits. And what you can do is, essentially, you can mess around with the frequency and create a wah-wah sound. But then we have the nano clone with the rate off, completely all the way off, which is essentially just a chorus. Just to give us that sort of spacey, tubular sound okay. that it kind of has. So this is my attempt. Considering we don't know what it is, and we've basically used our ears to pinpoint how it sounds, it's pretty close. Hmm. So that's how we did the synth sound, and I think it's pretty cool. And again, just to reiterate, the cockfight by EHX does far, far more than we've got going on here. I mean, if I just use it on its own. Hey, 
it's a pretty it, cool sound. It almost sounds like a talk box in some places. Yeah, and uh, apparently it can be fitted with an expression pedal as well. So that you, yeah, essentially it does far more than just what a wire would do. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> What's nice is that the guitars are similar price yeah. and the amps are obviously the same price yeah. and our overdrive pedals are similar price. So yeah, so if you didn't specifically want to go for that sound that we went uh, for in 1251, yeah. you can just get rid of these and you've still got a really nice, you know, drive sound. So there you have it. That is the Sounds Like Strokes. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope we got somewhere close. I know yeah. a lot of you guys have requested it. So we would like to know what you think, if we did well or not. And yeah, all the gear as you know, is in the description box below. Awesome. Well, um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed. And um, I've been Matt. I've been Rabir. And this has been Sounds Like on Anderson's TV. Farewell. Bye, 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 bye. My guitar here is a Olympic white. Actually, it's an Arctic white, isn't it? Okay, so here I have a Mexican Fender Stratocaster in Olympic white. Arctic with... white, you bell end. <laughs> <laughs> Can you keep that in? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. He just went out there to tell you what colour it was. Shows your rig. Cool. Right, so here I have an um, a Mexican. <laughs> oh my god. Let's see your rig. <laughs> For God's sake. Let's see right, just Come give on. it just 30 seconds. <laughs> Let's have a look at your rig then. Okay, cool. So I've gone for the, it's kind of almost signature in mm -hmm. look to um, Albert Hammond Jr. Um, he's very, very famous for playing this style of guitar. Yep. Um, this is a Mexican Fender Stratocaster in Olympic white. Arctic <laughs> fucking white, man. It's Arctic white. Let's see your okay. rig, dude. This is this is a Fender Stratocaster. <laughs> Just put the guitar down. This is a Fender Stratocaster. He's losing it, man. In, in Lake Placid Blue, with a maple. He's <laughs> absolutely lost it. <laughs>